In this video, I'm going to give a few examples of systems of nonlinear equations, and we're going to solve them using substitution. Um, so if we look at this system of equations here, the first equation is linear, and the second equation is not linear because of the square term. Well, using substitution, it's going to be best that we use substitution for systems that look like this. Um, one equation is linear, okay? So the other equation cannot be linear, so the system of equations, uh, one of them is not linear, but if one is linear, then substitution is going to be a good way to go. The other method I'm going to show in the next video is, um, is elimination. So el elimination, it will be a situation where both are um, nonlinear. Well, we'll talk about that in the next video. But okay, so starting with this, using substitution, and uh, one of the equations is linear. So we'll use that equation. So substitution works best when one is linear because we're going to use that linear equation uh, to solve for one variable. All right. Um, doesn't matter which variable, but looking at this linear equation, 3x plus y equals 9, the easiest variable to solve for is y. So I'll have y equals 9 minus 3x. Okay. Then once you have that, you can plug that 9 into the, or you can plug that y, this y, into the other equation. So um, I had x squared minus 5 equals negative, or x squared minus y equals negative 5. And now if I plug in the y that I just found from the other equation, get x squared minus 9 minus 3x equals negative 5. If I distribute the negative sign, I get x squared minus 9 plus 3x equals minus 5. Okay, um, let's go ahead and bring, you know, bring the term, put this into standard form. So I have this minus 9, I'm going to add 5 to both sides, so I'll have 0. So x squared plus 3x minus uh, 4 equals 0. Okay, so now I'm going to factor this. Um, what times what equals negative 4, and then if you add them together, you get positive 3. Well, plus 4 and minus 1 will do the trick. So let me go up here, x, then um, x plus 4, if I set that equal to 0, I get x equals negative 4, and then x minus 1, if I set that equal to 0, I get x equals 1. Okay, so those are two possible values of x. I need to find the corresponding value of y in each situation. So to do that, I'm going to be using this equation for y. So I'll have y equals 9 minus 3 times negative 4. 9 plus 12, um, which is 21. 21. So y equals 21. And then the next um, one, I have y equals 9 minus 3 times 1, which is 6. 9 minus 3. Okay? So I have two solutions, or two points, 4, negative 4, comma, 21, and 6. Now one, one, one comma six. And that's my solution for this system. So there's two, two points that satisfy this system of nonlinear equations. Okay, let's do one more example. All right, so I'm gonna use substitution because I have this one here that's linear. Okay, so using substitution is gonna be the easier choice here. Um, so I'll go ahead and solve for one of the variables. Doesn't matter which one. Um, I'll go ahead and solve for x just because I solved for y in the previous um, in, in the previous example. But it doesn't matter which one you solve for. Okay, and then um, and then I'm gonna plug this in. So I have x. First equation says x times y equals eight. So let's go ahead and plug in six minus y for x. Okay, let's distribute the y. So I'll have 6y squared, oh, 6y minus y squared. Okay, distribute the y, that's basically what I did. And then equals 8. All right, let me, um, I'm going to bring this 
negative y out front and then plus 6y and subtract 8 from both sides of the equation. I'm going to go ahead and pull out a negative sign from all this. Minus 6y plus 8. Okay, and now factor. Um, what times what is um, positive four, 8, but then when you add them, you get negative 6. So that'll be minus 4 and minus 2. Okay, and that, that's the factorization. And then, um, so y minus 4, set that equal to 0, and y minus 2, set that equal to 0. You get y equals 4, y equals 2. Okay, and then uh, find the corresponding values of x using this equation here. So x equals 6 minus 4, so that would be 2. And then for this one, x equals 6 minus 2, which is 4. Okay, so your two points, this one's x is 2, y is 4. And this one, x is 4, y is 2. And this is your solution for this system of um, nonlinear equations.